Dobre dene, Dupuy. Your own background is high tech, and I'm curious um, to what extent is there high tech industry in Bratislav and Slovakia in general? And then more broadly, what does the industrial makeup of the country look like at this point? Okay. I think what we are strong in is the IT industry. My major is computer science. The theoretical cybernetics which was quoted here, this was the Russian notion for computer science because this was thought as something as an enemy. So computer science is the name of my major, major field. And I think this is, this is the area in which Slovaks are very strong. We have many, many IT companies which are selling the good products all over the world. We have, for example, the company which is uh, selling the uh, antivirus uh, anti uh, anti uh, software called Asset. Asset is the company which is selling all over the world, I, I'm sure also in the United States. And it's only Slovak-owned company with the Slovak programmers, so we are really good in that. I would not say we are that good in manufacturing, or, or we are trying to be, because we attracted three big car companies coming to Slovakia. We have Volkswagen, we have uh, Kia, and we have Peugeot. They are all operating in Slovakia, and sometimes by Joe we say that we have the production of car, cars per thousands of inhabitants is the highest in Europe in Slovakia. <laughs> because of these three big companies operating. But they are selling many of their cars, of course, uh, abroad, making a big important part of our exports. All of the cars produced in Volkswagen in Bratislava are being used for exports. Some of them are sold in, in Slovakia. So this is really important part of our economy. Of course, also the sensitive part, because they say the cars are somehow resembling the growth or the downfall of the economy. When the crisis came in 2009, it was really a difficult time for all the three companies, but they didn't choose, choose to go to Ukraine or somewhere else. They are very much satisfied with the skill of our people, with the education, the preparation for, for the work. So Volkswagen is bringing new and new models to Bratislava and closing their factory in Spain. So this is a recognition that we did something for, for that area of industry. So I would say this is something which, which we live on. IT, car production, a little bit of chemical industry, food, food processing or food industry. So this is where we, where we are strong. Of course, of course. I just want to talk about the, that's a good question, I just want to talk about the IT world there from an American perspective, which is that uh, it's not really widely publicized or understood, but Bratislava is actually one of the leading IT hubs in Europe. Uh, I can't think of a single American, well there, there are probably a few, but I can't think of any uh, major IT companies that are not in Bratislava. There's uh, Hewlett Packard, IBM, uh, Dell, Cisco, Accenture, uh, Accenture uh, Amazon, Google, and at first when I went there I said, gee, this is really amazing. And then I want, wanted to go kick the tires and visit these companies, because frankly I thought, well, these companies, Hewlett Packard is selling printers in Slovakia. But actually these companies are, uh, have global customers that they're servicing, and they do uh, the follow the sun you know, programming for for global clients around the world. So for example, Michael Dell, when he uh, wakes up in Dallas at his home and he looks at the worldwide statistics of sales of his uh, products, he's looking at the, uh, all the statistics are, are aggregated and, uh, and disseminated out of Bratislava. Or if you make a uh, reservation on Hyatt Hotel uh, online, that's where crowded through Bratislava. So it's really quite a uh, impressive uh, uh, development. 